introducing quadratic function and parabola. So the first line, let's talk about nth degree polynomial. We have f of x equals to a n x to the n power, a n x to the n power, and then plus a n minus one x to the n minus one and then an minus 2, x to the n minus 2, and then we keep on going until we reach to the second power, first power, and then zero power. So x to the zero power is equals to 1, so therefore the very last term, the a0, is just a constant. This is a nth degree polynomial. nth degree polynomial means this function has n terms and then the first term a n x to the n this term has the highest exponent the largest exponent so therefore we call this the leading term this is the leader of the entire polynomial we call this the leading term a n x n is the leading term and then the a n the number in front of x a n we call this a leading coefficient and then the n power we call this a leading degree degree means exponent now when a, when the highest degree is equals to 2, so let's say n is equals to 2, then we don't use nth degree polynomial. Uh, you can call that a second degree polynomial, but second degree polynomial means quadratic function. So for quadratic function, the highest degree is equals to 2. Either you call it a second degree polynomial or you call it a quadratic function. So what is an example of quadratic function? Let's take a look. We have f of x equals to x squared plus 3x minus 4. This is an example of quadratic function. Quadratic means second degree. Using the graph, quadratic means a parabola. So the general form is f of x equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. So since the highest exponent is 2, we know that the graph is a parabola. What else can we tell? Looking at the coefficient, by the way, coefficient, the number in front of x. a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x. Looking at the a, when a is positive, the parabola opens up, so the u is opens up. When a is less than zero, parabola opens down, so we have an upside down u shape or upside down parabola. I have two examples for you. So the first example is f of x equals to 2 times x plus 3 squared minus 4. And then the next second line, you see this is 2x squared plus 12x plus 14. I know they don't look the same, but if you open up the square, distribute the 2, uh, clean up the negative 4, you will reach to the second function. They represent the same parabola. It's just two different ways to write this quadratic function. Again, they represent the same parabola. They don't look the same, but they are exactly the same. And then the first line is called standard form. So for the standard form, you can tell what the a equals to, which is equals to 2, and then you are able to tell the vertex. Regarding the standard form, uh, the vertex, we will talk about that in the next video. In this video, all you need to know is I give you a quadratic function. Let's say f of x equals to 2x squared plus 12x plus 14. I want you to graph this using any graphing device. Of course, I prefer decimal. So I create, I graph the function using a decimal right over here. So this graph, you see a parabola, right? And then this parabola opens up. Why? Let's go over the coefficients. So a equals to 2, b equals to 12, and then c is equals to 14, c is the constant, and then the vertex, don't worry about that right now, when the leading coefficient, a equals to 2, this is positive, so the parabola opens up, parabola opens up, that means this, so when the parabola opens up, this vertex is the minimum, is the lowest point of the parabola. And then what else can, can we say? You graph the parabola and then uh, on a decimal, you can just point at the minimum and they will tell you what the coordinate is. I, I don't expect you to be able to find the vertex using algebra in this video. I will talk about that in the next video. In this video, just graph point at the vertex and then just tell me what it is. So this is negative 3, negative 4. That's all you have to know. 
So negative three, negative four is the minimum, is the lowest point of the parabola. And then do you see that there are two points right over there? What are those points called? They are on the x-axis. So those two points are the x-intercept, or you can call that the zero of the quadratic function. So what else can we tell? So based on this, we can also tell that are the axis of symmetry. So axis of symmetry is like right over here, axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry means if you just cut this parabola out, when you fold the paper along this line, this point will touch this point. That's what the axis of symmetry means. Okay, so axis of symmetry, axis of symmetry, uh, what is axis of symmetry? That is x equals to negative 3. You just take the x coordinate of the vertex. So one other thing that I would like to do is uh, how do you find the x-intercept? So to find the x-intercept, you have to let the entire function equals to 0 because at this point, y is equals to 0. So you have to do a 2x two, two squared plus 12x plus 14 and then you set that equals to zero and then to solve this you have to use the quadratic formula so that's why they call that a quadratic formula because that is designed for quadratic function so a is equals to 2 b is equals to 12 c is equals to 14 and then x is equals to b plus or minus negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a and then all you have to do is you plug in a b and c and then what what do you get so this one you will have to do some approximation uh, you will get a negative 4.414 and then part negative 1.586 so that is how you find the x-intercept and then let's take a look at the other one so the other one we have uh, f of x equals to negative 3x squared plus 6x and then um, what is the, the leading coefficient? The leading coefficient is, by, by the way, what, what is the leading term? Tell me the, the, the leading term first. The leading term is the number right next to x squared, which is right over here. So the leading term is negative 3. This is negative, so we have to say the leading Sorry, not the leading term. The leading coefficient is negative 3. Negative 3 is less than 0. So since the leading coefficient is negative, the parabola opens down. So that's why this is an upside down parabola. And then for the vertex, again, we will talk about how to find the vertex in the next video. In this video, just graph the function, just graph this negative 3x squared plus 6x, just input that to decimal, they give you the graph, and then just point at the vertex, just use the cursor, point at the vertex, they will tell you what the coordinate is, 1 comma 3, so that is the highest point of the parabola, we will just call that the maximum. How about axis of symmetry? So this is the axis of symmetry, so axis of symmetry, is x equals to 1. We will just take the x coordinate. And then uh, for the x intercept, the 0, 0, and 2, 0, so all you have to do is you set the function equals to 0. So you have to do um, negative 3x squared plus 6x. You set that equals to 0. And then you do a little factor. You will get that x is equals to 0 and x equals to 2. I will factor a negative 3x out. So this becomes a x minus 2 equals to 0. So that's how you get a 0 and a 2. So that is the x-intercept of, um, of the parabola. All right, so that is the end of this video. If you like the way I explain quadratic function and parabola, give me a thumbs up, a subscribe, and I will meet you all in the next video. Signing out.